welcome to the Nude Food Cooking Show. Pure food made it real good. Thank you so much for joining us. And today we're going to be making... We're going to cook this big boy. <laughs> so, this is a big... Courgette, zucchini, marrow, depending on where you're from. I think it's only marrow when it gets big. Oh. I think it's a courgette or a zucchini, depending on what country you're in. We call them courgettes in New Zealand. Yes. But anyway, it's a bit too big. It's been... It's been sitting in our garden. We saw it and we didn't quite get around to picking it and then it got really big. But it turns out when you cut them in half, the centre is a bit kind of soft and not that nice. So we thought instead we're going to stuff it. Stuff it with some yummy stuff. But we're going <laughs> to stuff it with some capsicum, some onion, some tomato and mushrooms and garlic and some olives. Yum. And we're going to serve that with a... For me anyway... The lovely piece. James likes to have his meat. <laughs> I don't really recommend eating too much meat. I roughly only recommend about 5% of your diet being meat. And if it's going to be there, it's going to be, be good, good stuff. But this is a lovely uh, Silver Fern Farms lamb rump. Yes. There's actually two in here, which has got an awful lot. So it's better to do several meals. Yes. So, yes. But anyway, so gonna, you can I'm always make an little extra little rump. bit of meat if your hubby's not into, you know, this whole kind of totally vegetarian thing. thing like I'm not so. <laughs> so and I'm, you know I think men probably do need more meat than women oh yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to cook all these little stuffing bits first okay and then I'm going to cut this in half actually you can do that and we're going to cut it in half and we're going to take some of the funny bits out from the middle and we're going to put our filling inside we're going to cut it on the bent bit there well, I think you're committed, aren't you? I'm kind of committed now. I have to go all the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well done. Okay. Is it nicely in half? Are they even sized pieces? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're just fine. They're just fine? <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to scrape out the inside. Um, look, I'm too prepared. What? I'm prepared. I got you the spoon already. Oh. <laughs> but that's okay. So now you're going to put. Just that kind of, actually it's not that soft is it? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to... Just the white bits. I'm now taking the white bits out. Yeah, but do you want to show an easy way? <laughs> yes please. When I can bowl to put it in, but you should just better get your spoon and kind of just go... Mm. Oh. In one go. We're not taking all the white bit, we're just taking out the seeds, which are a bit, a bit soft. They're a little bit soft in the middle and we want the... That's what we're after. So oh. we've, see, we've just seen it scratch out because that's all good. It's only it's only kind of the seeds that go soft when it's been out there a bit long. So it's not very deep, though. Well, that's because you didn't cut it. Like a down. boat. That's <laughs> because you didn't cut it down the middle. <laughs> no offense. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay <laughs> then. This one will be much deeper. Okay, <laughs> so it's like a little boat. Well, it is like a big boat. A big boat. So that's going to go there, and now we're going to, so I've cut the caps, half caps come up. Half the caps come. Um, I've got a red onion. The only reason I've got a red onion is because we've got... Red onion. We've got red onions. <laughs> so you would use any kind of onion? Well, you But I find that red onion's a little bit lot, not so strong Not so taste. strong, it's, but when you cook it, it doesn't really matter that okay. much. Okay, it's hey, only with you, like salads that you Yeah, use. yeah, what you can do for me while you're waiting is you can peel some garlic. This is lovely, fresh organic garlic. We had this discussion today about why things have different names in different countries. It's yeah, why is it confusing? I mean, have you ever noticed that, like, a dish towel? Do you know what a <laughs> dish towel is? Versus a tea towel? Versus a... Dish cloth? Dish cloth? I mean, yeah. do you know what the differences are between all of those? Well, there aren't any differences, because they're all the same <laughs> thing. So, anyway. A tea <laughs> towel is this thing. It's called a tea towel in New Zealand. And it's called a... Something else? Somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're talking about everything. Anyway, so we've got our onions on, we're going to saute them, not too high a heat. Now, once he's eventually finished peeling the garlic, he's going to put them in there. We're going to put these two guys straight into our, our big pan. I hope they fit. Uh oh! <laughs> Actually, they don't. <laughs> they don't fit! But that's okay, we'll just give them a bit of a push because as they cook, they will help in <laughs> Why do they get softer? Well, they'll kind of soften as they, as they, as they oh. go along. So. Anyway, we've got some capsicum, uh, some uh, mushrooms. We're going to take the stalks off. How many mushrooms? We're going to use all of them. Oh, 
Yeah. How many mushrooms did he use? So half a capsicum? Well, I reckon we're going to look how much we're going to fill up. Oh, okay. So it just sort of depends on the size of your capsicum. Zucchini. A zucchini. I don't know about that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and, and you know, they always say you're supposed to sauté your onions first, I and mean, we will do for a bit, but then we're just going to kind of, we're going to put everything else in the pot and just kind of fry it for a bit. And yeah. Course, you know, What's the word? Sauté. Hoi it in. Hoi, you're going to hoi it in. <laughs> so we have to introduce you to one of our words. Is it a New Zealand word? It's not, it's a South African word. South African word. It's actually Afrikaans. Which is the, the language they speak only in, I think only in South Africa. I don't think they speak it in any other country. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, I had to learn this language because, well, not unfortunately. Actually, it's a good thing to know that you can speak several languages. But um, hoi means to throw. So if you see us or hear us saying that, you know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to... Um, Saute our onions. We're gonna put our garlic in now. Now it's nice, nicely peeled. We're gonna we're gonna chop that. And then you chop it. Yeah. Chop it. And now. And that's how you do garlic. Wow, that smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we've popped our onion into the pot with some garlic. And that's on medium high, isn't it? It's a medium heat. Medium heat. Yep. And, and we we're going to saute that. Saute that. Yep. And we're going to. Right, so now uh, we've got our onions and garlic cooking. And we're going to pop the rest of our ingredients in there all in one go. Everything. Everything all in one go. Except, yep. Yeah, all in one go. So that's all the tomato, the. I'm also going to put a few little, a few little bits of chopped up olive. We've got some nice little, uh, little what are they? These nice little calamite olives. Yum. We're just going to give them a rough chop, and we're going to add those to it as well because it's just kind of tasty. Um, the only other thing we're going to add to this is a little bit of basil from our garden, and unfortunately our basil. Our basil just didn't make it. I mean, this poor little fella. It's what well, we planted it. We actually got out slightly less than we put in. Which <laughs> <laughs> is never good. Because basil just doesn't grow in the South Island of New Zealand. Well, it could be the land. Oh, well, maybe you need some water. Because <laughs> someone doesn't water. Because someone likes to have a garden that's not self-watering. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of basil. And, a little, and a little bit of parsley. But we're gonna put. We always put those fresh herbs at the end. At the end. Do you know why? So they don't get all brown and dishy and yucky. So we're right at the end when it's all whisked up. We've still got parsley out of the garden. So we're going to yeah. add some of that in as well. As, as well as, yeah. You know, that parsley's kind of gone to seed. <laughs> but we think it's pretty. So we're picking it. And it's nice in the, in the house. <laughs> yeah. So we, but this stuff's not too bad, but it's going to seed. But yeah, that's okay if you don't really mind. So, so we're just going to add some parsley as well. A little bit of parsley. So I always like to use fresh herbs, lots of good stuff lots in fresh, of fresh herbs. herbs at the end. And don't forget we put those stalks into our... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> our compost bin. <laughs> there's a compost bin. Oh, there's another one. Hang on. Because, <laughs> you know, we, we turn all... Especially when we've grown it ourselves. We like to have a compost bin. We put bin. the compost back in. So we're just going to get that a rough chop. Rough chop. Chop, chop, chop. probably do it's really very rough okay yeah. so we need before that before that is finished kind of cooking which doesn't take that long we're going to make a little crust for the top so it makes it like a nice crispy bit yeah on the top. but we're not using breadcrumbs so we're using something quite unique they're called zillium husks and you can find these in a health shop but they're really good for your digestive system just helps with getting some fiber. Do you like that? <laughs> Do you see that nice sprinkle there? Do you see I went from one bowl to another bowl that was the same size and I just pulled the whole in. So that should make no difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite fun to do. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because so it, it looks because it looks good with a camera. It looks good with a camera. <laughs> so because and, and you know they, they kind of work like breadcrumbs. They do make a little bit of a crust. But like breadcrumbs they don't have a lot of flavour. So we're gonna add some more to it. We're going to add, we adding? We're adding a little, bit, a, li a, little bit of, a little bit of mustard, mm. and we're going to add some salt and some pepper, okay. and some olive oil. Salt and 
So I've been maybe uh, half a tea, well, it's probably a teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of oil, a grind of pepper. We might need some more oil in there, who knows, until we actually start mixing it up. Let's see, it actually looks pretty close. That's pretty good. I think it was actually pretty close. Let's see how it's kind of. It wants to be a little bit of the oil kind of through it, so. But it's like, um, they call that uh, like a, a, a crumb. It's like a sandy texture. Okay. So you see how it kind of clumps together? Mm -hmm. But when you break it up, it, it breaks up? I yep. think that's all we're after. Perfect. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good.
Now you could serve this with like a um, like a little yeah. green salad. A nice green salad or would be beautiful. Even just some boiled veggies, but I'm going to have it with a little bit of lamb. Yep, each mm. for their own. <laughs> cool. Right, it's time for dinner. Okay, see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and... Bye. No, don't forget to subscribe. Oh yes, oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Subscribe to the Nude Food Cooking Show. Pure See you food next week. Made real good. Oh, sorry. See you next week. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Hungry now? Yeah. Time for dinner. Bye. <laughs>